rational thought and the ethical values should form the activism. So if you have the knowledge, if you have the material knowledge and scientific knowledge, and if you have the ethical values, you cannot live by yourself in your own uh, small circle. You need to participate and you need to share this knowledge and you need to help the society to, to develop themselves in these values. Instead of living in seclusion, a pious person should use his life in the service of God and his creatures. In Judaism, in Christianity, in Islam, some of the scholars say that, okay, to be uh, really deep in the religion and to get close to God, you need to live by yourself in a uh, seclusion. But Gülen says that, no, it's not the time to do that. I mean, in our time, this will not work. You need to go into the society, you need to participate in the society, and you need to be part of the society, and you need to serve the people. Serving people is the same as serving God. That is how he teaches in his teachings. <coughs> Worldly activities are seen as religious duty in the teachings of Fethullah Gülen. Again, uh, Aksiyon insanı should possess four important characteristics. There are, uh, those are some of the important characteristics that I see in the teachings of Fethullah Gülen. Criticizing and analyzing ideas. So when that individual is approaching the knowledge that he or she got from the outer world, first we need to have the concept of uh, criticizing and analyzing these ideas. And after that, this criticism should be applied to himself or herself. That's what we call self-criticism. Where, where am I standing? Then continuously uh, focusing on the works that stimulate your uh, you intellectually. So in, in continuously you need to improve yourself and maintain close ties with, uh, to people with whom you share uh, the aspiration to do good deeds. Driving values. With this, I want to share with teachings, uh, some teachings from Fethullah Gülen. Uh, quote, he says, Embracing the whole of creation with full sincerity and resolve aware of journeying to an eternal realm through the corridors in creation and equipped with a power from that infinite eternal realm. It means expanding all one's physical, intellectual, and spiritual faculties in guiding the world to undertake the same journey. That's what we see, how we understand the concept of action. With this, I want to very uh, fast move into the concept of science and uh, engineering. Uh, he, again, concentrates on the universal uh, values, knowledge and, uh, of science and engineering. Those are all embodied with the universal values in his educational system. He approached uh, approach to science and engineering. He understands the concept of mind, logic, reasoning, and uh, consciousness. And he used scientific methodology, methodology, and he says that if we use the scientific methodology together with the ethical values, we will be able to stay away from the dogmatism. That's also another important concept that we see in his teachings. Another uh, teaching that I want to share with you from the teachings of Fethullah Gülen, <coughs> Do not fear from science and engineering or what they bring us. This fear paralyzes all positive actions. The real concern should be who controls the science and engineering. Science and engineering can turn this world into hell if they are in the hands of irresponsible people. Einstein later understood that he lost atom to a monster and he asked for forgiveness from one of his Japanese friend by crying on after Hiroshima and Nagasaki uncle. Another teaching from Fethullah Gülen, quote, irresponsible monsters turn the seas of our world into swamps and our rivers into sewage and atmosphere turned into a dirt ceiling, unquote. Another one from Fethullah Gülen, quote, purpose of acquired knowledge in science is to use this knowledge to guide humanity and to shed light on the way to human perfection. Otherwise, this knowledge becomes a burden on human beings and misleads them." Unquote. So from all of these uh, teachings, we clearly understand the concept of responsibility. Okay, through the scientific knowledge, you end up with a power. And Gülen says that, says that scientists and engineers are powerful shapers 
of the society. This is a fact because they have the knowledge, very important knowledge. But that knowledge should bring a very high level of responsibility. Advances in sciences and engineering have social costs. The costs that they have today, climate change, nuclear weaponry, pollution, genetic engineering, those are some important concepts that we need to really uh, try to solve in our time. Future scientists and engineers must be aware of the potential influence of their own knowledge and must understand the responsibility that it demands of them <coughs> and the uh, development of moral character to help personal responsibility is a very important concept that we see in the teachings of Fethullah Gülen. And I want to conclude it uh, with the schools. In Gülen schools, basically if we summarize, the, those are all secular schools and they are all private schools and uh, they concentrate on scientific knowledge. And another important thing, since we don't have time, I won't be able to talk about it, but they talk about this concept of student, parent, and teacher relation. And this relation, building this uh, relation, is extremely important in Gülen schools. Achievements in the schools, relationship between science and technology and faith and spirituality, they very nicely bring these concepts together. And I think this is one of the most strong uh, part that we have in the schools. And demonstration of moral values through everyday relationship of teachers with the students are also another important things, uh, concept that we see in, uh, at the Gülen schools. And uh, that is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. Our next paper will be presented by uh, Dr. Whitney, ba Whitney Bodman from the Presbyterian Theological Seminary in Austin, Texas, uh, The Color of God.